Hey guys, I'm Amarok and today we will take a look at MPQ editor. So this is uh, my tool pack and you can see this MPQ folder here and in it you will be able to find MPQ editor. I'm using this older version which is very reliable for the Oyoch King. So you can just right -click, click or on any MPQ file in your World of Warcraft. This is World of Warcraft. Here is data directory and here you can find mpq files so we can just right click any of it and uh, click on open or open with uh, application or whatever and set your mpq editor as application which should be used for opening mpq files you can also just run mpq editor click on file open mpqs and open any mpq you like and now we are here. As you can see, MPQ is really just an archive which stores multiple files in directories. That's pretty much it. So the very first thing you should learn how to do is creating a new MPQ. So you will just run MPQ editor, click on either on file and new MPQ or on this icon here, create a new MPQ. Uh, now, usually you would name your MPQs patch uh, comma and one uh, symbol, one as uh, ASCII symbol, either number or letter character. Uh, you should either use four, five, six, and so on, such numbers, or use one letter. letter. So let's use, for example, Y or Z. Uh, just create an empty MPQ archive. Next. This is quite important. Size of hash table determines uh, an amount of files which can be stored in your MPQ. For now, this is a default, a default number. Uh, 4000 is quite low, so I like to just increase it, but you don't really have to. You can change it at any moment. Next, leave this checked and next. So now we have our new custom page here and we will want to add files into it. We can either use this add, add files here, this function, or you can right click and add files here or control A or you can create a new folder. Just keep in mind that if you create an empty folder, it is just an empty folder. It isn't stored in MPQ. When I close this MPQ and open it again, my empty folder is lost. When I create an empty folder and insert any sort of file into it, now you can see that it remains here. So folders aren't being saved if you don't place any files into them. Uh, as you can see, everything is being saved automatically, instantly. You are not saving your MPQ when you Add and file, it is just there. You don't save your changes, you can't revert your changes early, but you can just delete files from there. And it's done. Uh, so as you can see, I'm I, you can either grab and uh, grab a file and place it into MPQ like this, uh, or you can overwrite files, of course, or you can place whole folder there like this and they are all here you just notice that my mpq archive has now 10 megabytes i will add my files there again so i'm basically just adding new files there which are overwriting uh, old files so there will be still the same amount of files the same size however as you can see the size of my MPQ has changed. It's now 20 megabytes. I will add or update my files again. And now it will be 30. So what is happening here? When you overwrite files, old versions are still being kept there. They are just unlinked from hash table, but they are still being kept there. And they are still taking your space or on your hard drive. So how to deal with this? Here's this operations menu and you can click on this compact archive. 
uh, this can sometimes, very rarely, but it can happen, this can sometimes corrupt your MPQ. So what I would uh, suggest that doing before is making a backup. And now we can just compact archive. And as you can see, size has decreased to 10 megabytes again. The same happens when I delete files. When I delete files, you can see, ah, when, I, when you delete files, size decreases, okay. Uh, another thing is extracting files from your MPQ. Uh, when you select any file, you can either go to operations and extract or control E or right click extract, control E, whatever. You can even choose multiple files or folders, control E, and let's just choose target directory. And here we are. This is the way of exporting files from MPQ. So you can import files into MPQ, overwrite old files, or you can export files from it. The last note is about naming MPQ archives. We will use MPQ archives for storing our uh, custom or modified data and uh, we will make game client read, uh, read that data. Uh, so basically what you will do is you will create a patch comma something and place it into your game client's data folder. Uh, now this is common, common 2, expansion, Lich King, patch, patch 2, patch 3. Those are Blizz-like MPQs. Uh, World of Warcraft reads them first. Then it will read any patch something, any patches behind this patch free. And uh, if any content of those patches overwrites uh, is, is the same as uh, content of those old patches, it will be overwritten. Which means that if I place some files into patch Z and they will be in Blizzard files as well, they will get overwritten by my new version. So we won't really go into Blizz-like MPQs and, uh, and uh, edit something here. We won't really touch these uh, MPQs. We will just leave them as they are. We will only add our new versions of files or our new custom files into our custom MPQs. So we won't really corrupt our, uh, corrupt our game client. We will just add new content, basically. Keep this, on, keep this on mind. Don't edit uh, blizz like MPQs. And another thing, uh, you can even have multiple pitches. Let's say you've got, or I would just delete this and show you how I've got my system here. So there is patch A on my project. That's huge patch. There is patch B. Uh, some files which are in patch B are in patch A as well. So what will happen? Patch B versions will be used over patch a versions. Then there are another patches M, N, P, T, X, Y. So if any of files which are in uh, patch Y are in uh, all those patches uh, before patch Y, they will be ignored and the patch Y versions will be used. Okay? So that's the main thing about MPQs. They are overwriting each other as they are going uh, in alphabet. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I will create another tutorial about MPQs, which will cover more advanced stuff. This is just basic stuff. Uh, most of you won't really need to that advanced stuff at all. And so that's pretty much it for those basics. I thank you for watching, and I hope that this was useful for you. Take care, and happy modding, guys.